State. Beautiful look at Grand Canyon National Park. A couple of hours drive north of the greater Phoenix area. It's a spectacular Sunday afternoon, and now a look at the University of Phoenix Stadium, which opened in 2006 and is the home of the Arizona Cardinals. Bill Belichick wearing his favorite hoodie. That number two pencil will go into his ear shortly. Stephen Hauschka will be kicking off for the Seattle Seahawks. And New England will start on offenses. Back to receive the kick is Danny Amendola. The game is a toss-up. Both teams are terrific. Pete Carroll always enjoying the moment. Marshawn Lynch, what kind of a day will he have? And it's going to start with Skittles. So nothing else is new. Might as well just be a, a preseason game in August for him. Richard Sherman ready to go to work. Injured his elbow. Earl Thomas with his located shoulder, but both will play today as Hoshka gets ready to kick off. Super Bowl 49 underway in Glendale, Arizona. We'll start with a run back by Amendola from five yards deep. And to the 18-yard line, he comes. And that's where New England will set up shop. Tom Brady. He said to us yesterday, after what's been going on over the last two weeks, he said there would not be a game I would want to win more than this one. No shortage of red meat in front of Tom Brady for this one, is there? It's as Shane Vereen as his running back. Meanwhile, now you've got Gronkowski flanked way out to the right near the sideline. Sherman on him. Brady starts from the shotgun. That's Edelman in short motion. And the first play is a pass to the outside. It's caught near the sideline, but only a minimal gain now for Gronkowski. Bruce Irvin making the tackle second and long. Brady, sixth Super Bowl start. He's thrown 197 passes in those games. 1277 through the air. All Super Bowl records. Three wins. Two losses. And one of those losses came here after the 07 season to spoil the perfect season as the New York Giants did him in. The Garrett Blunt is now in the backfield. Second down and eight. This is Amendola coming in motion. Short drop. Pass caught on the outside, breaking the tackle. And coming up about two yards shy of the first down is Amendola as he gets away from Richard Sherman. And that will set up a third down and two for the Patriots. Well, clearly one of the things we talked about right off the bat is how can you handle these pass rushers? That's one way. Get them on the ground with some quick throws, and then it's Richard Sherman on the outside. We have to keep an eye on that elbow. Will he be able to tackle? Will he be able to jam the receivers the way that he typically can? In that Green Bay game, it looked like he was playing with an invisible sling. Third and two, Brady, good clean pocket throws, and that'll be the game's first first down. As Vereen, Shane Vereen makes the catch, and he's tackled there by the outside linebacker, K.J. Wright. One of the things that's very difficult when you play against the Patriots, if you clear zones, you have to handle the likes of Julian Edelman and Shane Vereen with inside linebackers. Their quickness, very tough to deal with. We look at beating either way in the divisional game against... Baltimore, 53 passes, and then 40 runs against Indianapolis. This is blood. The Seahawks expect them to be more balanced, the Patriots today. So here is blood. He was a Patriot last year. He scored four touchdowns in his playoff game against Indianapolis. Then he signs with Pittsburgh. Doesn't like his role there because Le'Veon Bell was clearly the number one back. Walks off the field before the end of a game in November and then winds up signing after he cleared waivers with New England. So he returns home, and he is their stud right now because Jonas Gray, their other running back, is inactive tonight. Second down at eight. And here's Blunt. And Blunt gets it up to the 35-yard line. Right takes the defense. The Seattle defense becoming legendary right now. Their ranks this year, fewest points allowed, fewest yards allowed, third against the rush, 
tops against the pass, and they've been doing this for the last three seasons. Third and six, Dan Quinn, the defensive coordinator, who in the next 36 hours or so will be announced as the head coach of the Atlanta Falcons. The first things first for him here, as New England comes up spread out. Five receivers, play clock is down to two. Third and six, Brady able to survey, throws low and incomplete. So they got one first down, and now they'll have to punt. Byron Maxwell covering Vereen, and Seattle will get the ball. One of the things that's so important for the Patriots in this game is to force these defensive ends to run the loop. Go all the way around Tom Brady and then try and secure it up front to make sure that Tom Brady can step up. That time a little antsy in the pocket, got rid of it quickly, missed the throw. Ryan Allen, the left-footed punter. Good high, deep on flag is down as it's taken at the 15-yard line. Jerron Johnson came in and may have run into the kicker. If he ran into the kicker, but it's a five-yard variety, it's still not going to be a first down. Bill Benovich will make the call. Because that's a five-yard penalty, it would be fourth down and one. Roughing the kicker is a first down. Big call here. I think he got his plan leg. Kicker. Kicking team number 23. Five-yard penalty, still fourth down. All right, so that's, that's the, the garden variety, as it were. Which means that the line of scrimmage will now be the 40-yard line. Another look here. The rule is if you hit the plant leg, this leg, that's supposed to be 15 yards. I, I don't see running into the kicker right there. First down, time out. Well, Jerron Johnson, he can smile right now, but he got away with one. Had it been roughing the kicker, it would have been a 15-yard penalty in the first down. Here it is again, Chris. So the non-kicking leg, when you hit that leg, that's 15 yards and an automatic first down, without question. Just get through here. Oh, wow, how to turn it on. Tammy. Marcus. Okay, other unlimited data plans haven't lived up to the name, but today, unlimited gets the network it deserves, and so do you. Verizon. Uh, sorry, you need more information. It's unlimited the Verizon without compromising reliability on the largest, most advanced 4G LTE network in America. Oh, sorry, last thing. It's just $45 per line. HD video included. 45. And that is all the microphones that I have. Not just Unlimited, Verizon Unlimited. Wow, how am I going to get this home? 